Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist, Lindsay Monroe. Well, good morning, everyone. Still dealing with some high flood waters out there. That's why the National Weather Service still has this flood warning in effect for a good portion of the Wabash Valley. Some rivers in excess of three to eight feet over the flood stage. Just keep this in mind. But the good news is we are slowly starting to see that water recede. Expected for flooding to come to an end by tomorrow night, mainly due in part to the very cold temperatures that we've had. Expecting that flooding to become less of a concern as we head through the end of the week. So as far as what we have out there right now. The Storm Team 10 Fury quiet, no new rain falling, and that is good news for those of you who have been dealing with the flood waters along the banks of those rivers during this entire past week. Outside right now, we're sitting at 26 degrees with a cloudy sky. Going to continue to see the cloud cover with us at least through the first part of the day. It'll eventually break apart heading through this afternoon. It's 26 degrees in Paris right now, 25 in Casey, Mattoon sitting at 24, Robinson 30 degrees in Vincennes, waking up to a temperature of 29. Now we do have a light breeze out there this morning, making it feel just a bit colder. Wind chill temperatures nowhere near as cold as what we've been so far this week, but it still feels like 18 in Mattoon, a wind chill temperature of 26 in Paris and here in Terre Haute. Temperature tracker for the day, keeping us in the 20s to the 10 o'clock hour up near 27. We'll jump up near 32 degrees at that point, already exceeding yesterday's daytime high of 30. We're going to get significantly warmer than that, up near 38 degrees for today exceeding the average daytime high even of 37. So we're getting more seasonal temperatures back into play for this afternoon, mainly due in part to those winds picking up out of the west. So warming trend today. Also some warmer temperatures heading through the first part of the weekend. It's not until Sunday that we're tracking a big cold down Arctic air returning for us by Sunday and a blast of cold air for next week. We'll talk more about that coming up, but first taking you outside right now. Clouds and radar does show us that we have the cloud deck overhead. All the precipitation staying to our south for today, so we're going to stay dry, but just dealing with a few clouds, at least starting us off for today. Now that's what Futurecast picks up on. Cloud cover slowly receding to the south, heading through this afternoon. Look for a mix of sun and clouds, but also we're going to be dealing with a wind. Quite breezy out of the west, gusting up near 25 miles per hour at times. A breezy afternoon, but this will help to usher in some of the warmer temperatures, getting up near 34 degrees. Finally back above that freezing point for us this afternoon with partly sunny skies. Now by 6 p.m. still going to be partly cloudy and still a little bit windy. 38 degrees, your daytime high temperature dropping back to 35 by 6 p.m. Now futurecast will continue to keep the skies clearing out for us, rolling through the overnight. Still a few clouds out there, so we'll call it partly cloudy to start the day tomorrow. Here's 7 a.m. on Thursday, those winds shifting from the west to the northwest around 10 miles per hour. Temperature starting off in the mid 20s and a little bit cooler tomorrow with the influence of those winds coming in out of the north up to 15 miles per hour. Still looking for a partly cloudy afternoon. Temperatures topping out in the mid 30s, so a little bit cooler tomorrow as opposed to what we're seeing for today. In fact, temperature tracker for the next six days really warms us up by Friday into Saturday. Highs near 42 degrees and 44. Starting off our weekend, but heading through the end of our weekend, check out this big temperature drop with highs only near 29 degrees Sunday, 24 on Monday, getting well below that average of 37 as we head through the first part of next week. For today, though, a little bit warmer out there. We'll do 38 degrees with a mix of sun and clouds. Also, keep in mind it will be a bit of a breezy day. Winds gusting out of the west up to 25 miles per hour. Partly cloudy and chilly tonight, dropping back to 24. Rebounding to 34 tomorrow with a partly cloudy sky and a cold wind out of the north. We'll do sunshine a little bit warmer for your Friday. Low temperatures staying pretty steady in the 20s. Then for your Saturday, a few more clouds filter in and get on and enjoy that warmer air while it's in place. 44 degrees, well above your average daytime high, but that cold blast of air returns by Sunday, 29 degrees. Check a try on Tuesday, only near 18. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, a few good days out there, so get on and enjoy it while you can. Sounds good. Thank you, Lindsay.